Hi, my name is Manu Bardwaj and we're here today to ask for a £100,000 investment for a 35% equity stake in our company. A few years ago when I proposed to my girlfriend, I found the experience of buying an engagement ring very frustrating. I had a very clear vision of what my perfect engagement ring looked like, but I was unable to find a ring I could buy off the shelf, which is similar enough. But more frustratingly, I was unable to find a jeweller that could make the exact ring I wanted within my budget. Hot Pink is a new breed of jeweller. We use the latest in 3D technology to design and make our jewellery. Now, the hot pink process starts with an online design consultation. Just before your consultation, you'll get an email from your personal ring designer. Your ring designer will work with you to make your perfect ring into a 3D computer model. You can change the big things and finesse the, li the little things. Your ring designer will be able to show you how your ring will look from every angle and even be able to show you how it looks on a hand and next to a wedding band. Hot pink will then Build your ring just for you as a bespoke, one-off piece of artwork. I think it's probably one of the saddest sights I've ever seen. Going out and choosing an engagement ring has got to be something that you want to do together and trying on a ring and seeing what it's like on your finger. It's something that's going to sit on your hand forever. We offer this thing called the proposal service, which is essentially for guys because proposing for guys can be quite intimidating. So the service we offer is they'll come and see us and we'll help them design their perfect ring. Then instead of making it for, for real, in like say platinum or 18 karat white gold or whatever they choose, we actually make it in sterling silver and set it with Swarovski stones. Uh, so it looks exactly like the real thing. It's getting sadder by the minute to me, honestly. If somebody proposed to me with a fake ring, what? I would hate that. I would like to think that if they're going to go out, first of all, they'd know kind of what I would want, or to propose without a ring, and then say, let's go and do it together. Yeah, so out of all the engagement rings we sold, 40% are guys coming on their own, and then 6% will come as a couple. And they actually enjoy the experience of designing a ring that is just for them and completely bespoke for them. It's actually very interactive, and you get to choose every single component to the finest level of detail, and you can tweak any element of it. Right. A lot of people like the romance of that, because it means you can't make the same ring twice. And what happens then? You post it back, it, it arrives, I get a yeah. card through the door because I've gone shopping, and we go and collect it romantically from the post office. About half our clients will come and visit us to pick it up. Right. The other half will, will either take a day off or we'll get it delivered on a day that's convenient for them. I just think one of the most romantic days in your life is when a man proposes to you. Agreed. And it's, you know, it shouldn't be something that's rushed sitting in front of a laptop. Um, you might as well put on your on your screen that you can choose a wedding dress and have that sent through the post too. Funnily enough, um, whether I think I like it or not, whether I think it's sad or not, people, there are a lot of people out there who want bespoke, but actually haven't got the time to do it. And I get the market that's, you know, that, that can't just walk into the most expensive jeweler and say, money, no object, I'll have the thing that I want. So I get that this will happen online. So I actually, you, know, you don't have to sell me on any of that. My question is, is, is it you? What have you got that is different and outstanding and allows you to make a claim that everybody considers you to be the best? OK, so our, we've sold five times more than our nearest competitor and we're number one. How do you know that? We're very close with a software company. And you're saying there's only one software provider who actually does this? So, like all software, there's alternatives out there. Manu, I started saying I like this, but w when okay. it would be really easy to have yes or no answers... I, I think I'd just rather not lie. It's much easier. <laughs> yeah. No, it's much yeah. easier to say, yes, they are this, and this is why I'm better. <clears throat> there are other software providers who, who can provide this type of software. Yes, but they're not very good at all. <clears throat> OK, but you keep making those claims, but if there are other people using other software, you don't know where you sit in that market. You don't know if you're the best. You don't know if you're selling more than anybody else. Okay. Do you? Uh, no. This is a very, very highly contested arena. And in that busy marketplace, I think you're going to find it very difficult to own a substantial amount before somebody else spots that you are beginning to make a dent into that marketplace and then thinks, do you know what, I will license that software and we will offer the very same service and probably in a better way simply because they've got the cash to do it. So I'm afraid I'm out. Do you, do you mind if I... No point answering me. Here's your last chance. <coughs> have you got any rings? Do you have any rings with you? It's a, it's a sample ring. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, quickly. 
It's nicely done. This in here, yeah? It's nice. With each ring as well, you get a little book showing you how it was made, so the journey's on, and it's actually one in the, in the box. Look at that. Very sparkly. So you didn't show any of this, did you? You should have done this before. Oh, right. But this is a product. All yeah. you showed us, you got carried away with the technology. Yeah, it's classic. People, people uh, tend to do that. Classic entrepreneur mistake, unfortunately. It is, yeah. Manu, I think you're a good guy. I think you do have a business. It's not for me, though. You know, I'm not going to invest a, a hundred thousand in it. I wish you all the best with it. I think you've got something, but it's not for me. Well done, though, but I'm out. Despite his best efforts to persuade the dragons of the merit of his business, a stoical Manu leaves the den without the hundred thousand pounds he was looking for.